Uh, Mr. Francho, Peter Summer with Capital Intel. Would you be favorable for, what are you, what's your ideas on P3 for Baltimore Airport? I mean, sure. I, you know, I'm a big fan of P3. Well, we're get well P3 you, uh, is the devil's in the details. Yeah, but there's a foreign group that's willing to put $3 billion as a, a yeah, press. Yeah. Yeah. With, yeah. Um, I'm yeah. press secretary, Jordan yeah. Miller. So you'd be favorable, okay. We, uh, I, I'm willing to study anything, but the, with these P3s, you have to be very careful because of the detail. Oh, and the transparency in the public good and what. Mr. Baker. I'm doing a big piece. Peter Summer, we know each other from yeah. a long time. On the P3 for BWI, yeah. you've got the, one of the largest European infrastructure groups willing to put down $3 billion for the expansion and internalization of the airport. What do I think of it? Yeah. You know, I, I haven't really looked at it, quite honestly. I know that when we did the original expansion of BWI, we yeah. and a uh, general assembly set aside money for it. Yeah. And I know they've done P3s before. Yeah. I've actually done them myself. Yeah. But I'm not aware of this one, and so we'll certainly look at it. I'm not opposed to it off the bat. Okay, because it was Truman Airport was a private airport, then I think O'Malley looked at it, Ehrlich looked at it. It's always been on and off, but it's right. about $3 billion into the state coffer. You, and you remember uh, Paris looked at it. Yeah. When, when John Bacari was the uh, Secretary of Transportation, Yeah. Um, they looked at doing the, the P3. And in fact, we actually did a similar project when we were looking at um, the connector. So I know we've looked at it. You know, I'm not sure what the latest iteration looks like, but certainly it's something I wouldn't rule out offhand. And you'll review the toll road privatization that they have now. Maybe. I have a I have a different take on the toll road. Yeah. You know, and the reason is that when we when we all agree we we're going to do that 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 gasoline tax, you yeah. that. Yeah. You know, Ike and I went along with it. And part of that was under the O'Malley administration, but also the General Assembly said, hey, you know what, you do this, this is going to pay for the expansion. Yeah. And 270 was the prime project. Yeah. Now we come back and it's different. Now they want to do a toll road. So That's different. Because Hogan's been leading the charge about getting private sector dollars into infrastructure. That was lacking in the $1 trillion infrastructure bill. It was a P3 and leveraging private sector investment. Right. My problem with the way Hogan's doing it now is that when he came in, he had the he had the resource. 270 was just yeah. just a separate animal. The resource to do 270 and work on that, you wouldn't have a toll road. So he chose to spend the money elsewhere. Mm. And so that's the one where when people ask me, like I'm not automatically opposed to P3. I did them in school. Yeah. As county executive, I also did it for intercounty connector. Yeah. So, but on ones that we've told voters that we were actually going to raise your gas tax and use the money for the expansion, and you don't do it, I think that's different. Isn't the P3 Thank all about transparency, making an open process that everybody's involved, all stakeholders? No, not, not I mean, it, is, it does it. Yeah. But here's the problem. Here's why you use the P3, because you can actually do the project quicker. Yeah. So if you actually have the public-private okay. partnership, you can actually get it done quicker. Okay. I think if everyone had their wherewithal, they would say, hey, we want the state to fund the infrastructure. Yeah. We want the federal government and the state to, to do that. Um, this is a group that owns the toll roads in Puerto Rico. They own Aeroporto de Roma, the big international airport, the Benetons, the highways, and they're cash rich. You know? yeah. No, there's some that, that work perfectly well. I mean, P, the, the problem, if you look at P3 and on the purple line, yeah. it didn't work. It didn't work. It didn't work. And so that's I, that's what I think. And even the one where people say that it worked in um, Northern Virginia, yeah. you look at the cost overrun, how long it took for the silver line to do that. Yeah. There are there were problems. So. All right. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Mr. King, Peter Semmel with uh, Capital Intel. A uh, question on what's your views on the possible P3 for BWI? You've got a big foreign group, European, already the biggest in infrastructure. They would be, love to do a P3 with BWI. I mean, I just, I worry a lot about the P3 oversight. Yeah. So far, we, you know, if you look at the purple line, which is yeah. now, I think, $4 billion over budget and four years behind. Yeah. Uh, the management of P3 has not been great. It's really been a euphemism for privatization. Yeah. 
So, yeah, you know, I think that the question is, can you have a P3 that is truly a public yeah. project where there's really good... It would expand the airport. You would have international links. It would create jobs for everybody. And, yeah. and it's always been on the cards for Baltimore and BWI, but... Yeah. yeah, there's certainly an argument for airport expansion. Just the question of P3, I think, is... Uh, yeah, $3 billion dollars that goes straight to your... That can be spent on other projects that aren't... This was, this was the promise of the Purple Line. This was the promise of the 270 project. Yeah, but everybody else privatizes their airports. We're the long, only San Juan airport is privatized, and that's that. That was going well even after Hurricane Maria. Mm -hmm. So it shows that sometimes the private operators, and they own the airport of the Roma that was functioning during COVID. So they have proven international investor. Yeah, yeah. It's interesting, but I but I have to say I'm, I'm probably on the far end of skepticism. Uh, oh, you're on the other side. Three approach. There's bipartisan yeah. opposition and. And also, yeah. there's yeah. bipartisan, you know, people who favor it on the yeah. other side. So yeah. it's, it seems yeah. to be both Democrats and Republicans are either opposed or favor Pete's yeah. race. And I, unfortunately, our experience yeah. has not been good on, on these last two major... But isn't it just trans the problem with transparency? The people who do P3 don't make it public. They don't get out to stakeholders. They don't get to be... Definitely an element community. The lack of community input is an element... Because it's a public asset. Yeah. 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 So if you um, make it public, then everybody yeah. decides. Do you want the three billion now, or do you want, you know? Yeah, yeah. I'm not categorically opposed to P3, but, I, but our experience has been quite negative. So okay. Far. So I, I'm, I'm, I'm in the skeptical team. Okay, because the, the, the infrastructure plan did not have any way to leverage private sector right. money, and right. that was one of the biggest problems. That's what some of the governors want is five to ten leverage on the private sector. And therefore, they can use that money for something else. Yeah, that's the question. Will it actually so translate into public good or just <laughs> private profit? Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah. Thank, yeah. You. Nice Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. You can go bike riding anywhere. <laughs> Is that what Molly was saying? Hi, Mr. Barrett. Hi. Yes. You're the only candidate to go out to Doc Cheatham's West Baltimore uh, playground. Yeah, two, two Sundays ago, or three Sundays ago. The food desert, yeah. Yeah. Oh, boy, is it ever. My question is on uh, P3 for Baltimore International Airport. Would you okay. be favorable? Yeah, you got yeah. the Giants would be willing to put $3 billion into the well, coffee. I'd like to learn more about it. Okay. You don't have an opinion? Well, uh, can I talk to my father in law for just one second? All right. No, I'm just asking. It would be the largest yeah. privatization. All right. Thanks. Yeah. Would you be? Would you welcome a P3? You've got a big group that was willing to put down like almost like three billion billions oh, of depends, dollars. Uh, I mean, you know, we have a P3 proposed to uh, address beltway congestion, yeah. and uh, you know, P3 is not a transportation philosophy; yeah. it's a funding mechanism. And so yeah. I have I have a lot of issues with the P3 on uh, on the high of the two seventy. Yeah, exactly, and so you know, that's why I want to look very closely to see what's what, what's the community benefit. To be. Yeah. What international you know, what connections more? Yeah. No, but what is it? You know. What, yeah. Will it? You know. Again, I look yeah, at everything through the lens of equity, off. inclusion, yeah. access, and so I'd, I'd want to study that. Real I think the only one we have is San Juan in Puerto Rico at the 